Hi everyone, my name is Benji Levin. I'm a program manager on the Microsoft Information Protection team. And today I'm extremely excited to share with you a new feature that we are releasing, double key encryption. Double key encryption gives customers an enhanced protection capability for their highly sensitive data in order to meet specialized requirements. In this short video, I plan to cover a quick overview of what double key encryption is and how it fits into the larger Microsoft information protection story. I will then go over both the encryption and decryption workflows and how they operate. I will share with you how you can get started with double key encryption uh, through our GitHub repository and deployment guidance. I will then go on to show you how easy it is to configure double key encrypted labels in the Microsoft 365 Security Center and also how easy and seamless it is to consume double key encrypted content. Finally, I will leave you with some links for further reading. So diving right into a double key encryption overview, I first would like to set the scene for the overall Microsoft information protection story. I think you're pretty familiar with this, but as you know, Microsoft information protection is Microsoft's unified information protection solution that enables customers to configure and manage their sensitivity labels and protection policies in a single place and apply these across your entire data state, including both on-prem and in the cloud. Microsoft Information Protection offers customers built-in classification, labeling, and protection experiences that leverage industry-leading intelligent classification services and offer admins a unified management experience while providing extensible framework for information protection across both first and third-party applications. As you will soon learn, double key encryption is no different and meshes seamlessly into this holistic Microsoft information protection story. Through our conversation with many customers, we have a pretty good understanding of what a typical organizational data landscape looks like. For the majority of our customers, around 80% of their data falls in the non-sensitive data buckets. This is the type of data that they can move to the cloud without any issues. You can think of this data as just regular Word, PowerPoint, Excel files that don't really contain any sensitive information. However, roughly around 15% of an organization's data does fall into the sensitive data bucket. And this is information that does contain uh, sensitive information types such as social security numbers, credit card numbers, or personally identifiable information. Um, and this is data that is required to be protected with enhanced capabilities. Um, this is something that Microsoft Information Protection Solutions offer our customers, and you can read more about that in the MIP resources at the end of this presentation. Today, we're here to talk about that top 5% of data, the highly, highly sensitive data that is subject to enhanced regulatory restrictions and should be isolated from third-party access under all conditions. This is the type of data that you can think of as an organization's crown jewel data. If this data were to get out or leaked to the public, it could lead to significant implications for that customer. This is where double key encryption comes into play. By using double key encryption, customers can ensure that their highly sensitive data is protected under all circumstances from any third party access, including Microsoft's access. So what is double key encryption? Well, as the name suggests, double key encryption enables customers to protect their data with two keys. And in order to access the content, you must have access to both of the keys. One of the keys is in the customer's control, while the other key is in Microsoft Azure. So in order for an end user to open a protected content that is protected by double key encryption, they need to have access to both the customer's controlled key and the key in Microsoft Azure. As mentioned before, double key encryption is part of the overall Microsoft information protection solution. So it enables um, admins to configure a, a consistent labeling experience across their entire data state, including that top 5% of sensitive data. By using double key encryption, customers prevent any third party access to their content. Microsoft never has access to the data too, since one of the keys is also in, always in your control. So double key encryption puts you in full control of your data by allowing you to host your key in a location of your choice. You can choose to deploy your double key encryption service on-prem or in the cloud. You can use either Microsoft Cloud or a third-party cloud. It is totally up to you. By having full control of that double key encryption service, you can manage the user access to your key and your content. So you define who has access to both your encryption key and thus who can decrypt your double key encrypted content. 
You can then choose to store the, the data in a location of your choosing because your double key encrypted content is opaque to Microsoft. So if you want to put your data in OneDrive for Business or SharePoint Online, that's totally up to you. And you can be uh, rest assured that Microsoft does not have access to your data under any circumstances. Double key encryption also helps simplify your deployment when it comes to um, confidential data and securing your confidential data because we provide a reference code implementation that is hosted on GitHub. And we give you clear deployment guidance on how you can go ahead and set up your double key encryption service to request your double key encryption key. So diving into the encryption workflow and how it operates, imagine you're an end user and you're authoring a piece of content that is protected using double key encryption. Well, your Microsoft Office clients would bootstrap firstly to the Azure Information Protection Service and pull down your Azure Information Protection Service public key. Your Microsoft Office clients would then bootstrap to your double key encryption service and pull down your double key encryption service public key. The user would then go ahead and author the content and that content would first be encrypted using a symmetric key that is generated on a per client per document basis. And that symmetric key is placed in the metadata of the document and first encrypted using your double key encryption service key. Key is then wrapped again using your Azure Information Protection Service key. So at this point, that symmetric key has been double key protected and your content is now secured using both keys. Decryption workflow kind of operates in the same way, just in reverse. The Microsoft Office clients will send the metadata portion of the file up to the Azure Information Protection Service. And if the user requesting access is authorized, it will then decrypt the outer Microsoft key and return back to the client the metadata that has the symmetric key that is still protected using the customer's double key encryption service key. The Office clients will then request access from the customer's double key encryption service. And if the user is authenticated on their double key encryption service, it will then strip the protection from the symmetric key and return that back to the local machine. The local machine will then go ahead and decrypt the contents and render it to the user. What's important to note here, at no point in this flow does Microsoft have visibility into your data or the data is ever sent to the Microsoft service, decrypted. We make it really easy for our customers to get started with double key encryption. As mentioned before, we host the double key encryption service on GitHub in a repository. And this is an open source repository that you can clone and modify as you see fit. A lot of our customers have very specialized regulations that they need to modify the code to meet. So we provide this open source implementation that you can modify to suit whatever needs you may have. We also provide a very easy to follow double key encryption service documentation, which walks through exactly the requirements needed to operate the service and how you can um, get started using double key encryption. We also have a deployment guidance video, which is a short video, roughly 15 minutes in length, that takes you from absolutely nothing to deploying your double key encryption service. So as mentioned before, configuring your double key encryption labels is super simple. Coming to the Microsoft 365 Security Center, which you should be familiar with already as part of the Microsoft Information Protection Story, um, you set up a new label through the label creation flow. And when it comes to the encryption blade, you will see at the bottom of your screen a new option that you can check saying use double key encryption. You would then enter the URL of your double key encryption service and this is the redirection URL that tells the Office clients where to go and receive your double key encryption keys from. Consuming double key encryption content is as simple as consuming any other protected content in your Office client. Um, since a lot of the magic happens behind the scenes with the redirection URL, your end users uh, have the same experience they have today with any other MIP protected content. So that's it from me in this short video. Here are some of the links that I discussed throughout my presentation. If you have any feedback or questions, please contact me. And here are some useful all that Microsoft Information Protection links that you can also read more about MIP. And on behalf of the entire Microsoft Information Protection team here at Microsoft, we'd love to hear from you. So do reach out on Yammer and let us know your thoughts. Thank you.